Did you know that when you go online, either from your computer or phone, there could be companies collecting information about you, like your age, where you live, and even what your interests are? The information is stored in small data files that are collected from websites you visit and are called cookies. Unfortunately, you can't enjoy them with milk, but you should still know what they do. You might think that anyone using your personal information online is a bad guy, but not all cookies are considered bad. Cookies help websites remember pieces of information you have shared with it to make your browsing experience better. For example, if you're buying something online and add it to your shopping cart, it would be pretty frustrating if the item disappeared when you click checkout or go to a different section of the site to look for something else. In this case, cookies are used to help the website remember what you placed in the shopping cart. These types of cookies are called first-party cookies, and they're used to make the website you're visiting functional. What people consider to be questionable cookies are tracking cookies, also called third-party cookies. These are used by search engines or online advertisers and use the information they know about you, send it to a database to be analyzed, and ultimately change your browsing experience. Being aware of how your personal information is used is really important, and tracking cookies are something you should be aware of when using the internet. When you visit a website, there may be first-party cookies to make the website work properly, like with an online store. But there can also be way more tracking cookies on the site that have nothing to do with improving your experience. Depending on which site you visit, there can be hundreds of third-party tracking cookies on one page, each collecting data about you and figuring out how companies can use it to sell their stuff. Have you ever been on a search engine or social media and noticed that there's an advertisement for a concert in your town of one of your favorite bands, or an online retailer selling something that you looked up online just a few hours ago? How do they know that you like that band or that you're looking to buy something new? Third-party cookies, that's how. When you click like on Facebook, hover over a link on a website, click an advertisement, or search for something on the internet, there's a chance that there are tracking cookies following your every digital move. There are laws in the United States that protect children under the age of 13, but besides that, there isn't much legislation protecting us from these sneaky businesses that use tracking cookies. If you want to keep your information private online, be careful about what you click on. That said, it can be challenging for even the most cautious digital citizens to hide from tracking cookies. Fortunately, you can use free tools that install in your browser, like Ghostery, to show you which advertisers, beacons, and analytics are using tracking cookies, and more importantly, to block them. If you want more in-depth information about how cookies work, check out these links.